hello all today we will proceed with agile process models these are the various agile process models we will be starting with extreme programming xp first extreme programming or xp the name is extreme because the approach of software development is forwarding the best practices to an extreme level all the good practices that are followed in this process are taken at an extreme level hence the name extreme programming extreme programming consists of three or uh, different things the first is the process with which it works second is the values of the xp process and the third is what are the debates in the xp first we will start with the xp process the xp process follows certain good practices namely pair programming test driven programming and also simplicity refactoring integration are also new features of this program the first phase of the xp process is the planning phase during the planning phase as you can see four different things are carried out user stories values acceptance test criteria and iteration plan as we can see in the figure first is the user and the developer communicate with each other and listening process takes place during the listening there are creation of stories the customer starts writing stories where he is describing his functional requirements the customer also assigns priority to all the story or functional requirements the developer will assign cost to these customer priorities and also development time to these particular activity or story then they will find out whatever development time it takes for a particular story to be completed if a story takes more than 3 weeks for development then he asks the customer to further split the story into smaller different stories after the development time of all the stories decreases and becomes less than 3 they are kept up in the schedule one after another all the highest valued and risky stories are moved up in the schedule and they are implemented first new stories as usual can be added any time in the story list and the list can be updated that is what ag agility is uh, uh, totally about of velocity of project velocity means the number of stories that were implemented in the first review after the release is given there is a check over overcommitment if there is a lot of overcommitment then the software team keeps a check on it and they delay the release dates so that new uh, and changing requirements to be incorporated in the process next is the designing phase it consists of a simple design approach the crc cards the spike solutions first concept of design is keep simple don't add extra functionality focus on what is the current need and not on the future needs because maybe the need will never arise next is crc cards crc cards are the cards in which there is a class there is responsibility and collaboration the class is the entity that we are talking about responsibility is all the things that a particular class can do or has to do and collaboration is all the different other entities with which the class is going to interact these cards make design simple the next is the spike solution 
Spike solution is nothing but we are creating a rough prototype and displaying it to the client so that he gets a complete idea or a rough idea of what actually the product will be like or work like. Next is refactoring. Refactoring is nothing but after writing the code for a particular functionality, we are trying to change the code but the functionality or the way it functions or its behavior should remain the same. Hence, in refactoring, we are improving internal structure of the code by preserving its behavior. Okay, next we move to the third phase that is coding. In coding, we have pair programming concept and unit testing concept. Inside coding, you are doing something called as pair programming. Pair programming says that on a single computer, you have a total of two heads working. Two heads working means it says that one of the person of the two is going to code and the other is going to evaluate and review the code. This is done till half an hour or so and after that, the position is changed. This is what is a good practice so that error-free codes can come out. Next is, before coding, a unit test is developed for each of the story. Then after a coding is done so that the code can be thoroughly checked with the test cases that are done. Now what is a test case? Test case is something like your exam program where you are given that your final output should be something like this. Based on the output, you are going to create code for it. Next thing that you do in coding is you are going to integrate your software. Because in an agile team, there may be many members. All members may be working on different tasks. So the main idea is to integrate all the tasks on daily basis so that there are no compatibility or interfacing issues later on. This is done so that a project can develop fast and compatible. Next is testing. Testing is when uh, you are doing something called as a unit test. Unit test is you are testing a small module or portion of a program to find or fix small errors. Then comes smoke testing. Smoke testing is something that is done to uncover early errors due to which a project can fail badly. Next is regression testing. Regression testing is if you are changing some code, then you will check that that code is not affecting any feature of that particular code. Code can change, but behavior has to remain same. This testing is called regression testing. And last testing that is performed is acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is done by the customer to see that the software is acceptable or it still requires some other changes. So acceptance testing is the last testing that is done by the customer before delivery of the software. So as a final rule, you can see extreme programming is nothing but of a good practice, you are carrying it out at an extreme level. There is creation of stories, you are assigning priorities, you are giving cost, you are scheduling it, you are keeping design simple, you are giving prototypes, you are refactoring, you are unit testing, you are pair programming, you are integrating, and finally you are doing unit smoke regression and acceptance testing. Okay. So you can, what are the real applications of this extreme programming? The first one is, it can be applied to any new technology coming in the market. Because the requirements may be changing. It can be applied to research projects. Where you can, you have to deal with unforeseen problems. You don't know what's going to come up. But as and when it comes up, you have to adapt and deal with it. The next is it can be used for smaller projects. 
because smaller projects generally they need to be uh, you know short projects and uh, they need to be very simple so agile development in that case is easy because requirements may be changing okay. next we'll move to xp values xp values first of all you need to communicate efficiently there should be communication between stakeholders engineers to get functionalities all this is done in an informal way next is simplicity simplicity is needed because there should be an immediate design you have to code for the current requirement not for future needs because the future you have not seen you just have to focus on current developments because you are supposed to deliver the software currently in a short period of time so focus on what is needed shortly and not on what is needed after 4 to 5 more increments okay next is feedback feedback you can take from three places first is software development and customer and software itself software developer is going to give you a uh, places where there could be errors customer will give you use case related details and software itself can give you errors due to unit testing next is respect and courage respect and courage are needed because you are going to design for something that is today and not for tomorrow so requirements may change dramatically and rework may come respect is a feeling to be inculcated between the members of the team now issues in xp is requirements are changing hence requirement volatility na to is fixed there are conflicting customer needs there may be that there is a project where you have more than one clients everybody will need different requirements and lastly all the requirements are expressed informally and not in a formal method they are simple and the notations and models they make are not formal hence you cannot get a complete perfect model here okay with this we are concluding extreme so thank you finally after a brief about extreme programming we will now move to a variant of extreme programming called as industrial extreme programming ixp it is an extension of the simple xp model by inclusion of management by expanding the role of customers and upgrading technical practices now which are the technical practices that are happening we have a brief look on six of the different technical practices of ixp the first practice is readiness assessment this is done by the organization during the initiation of the ixp it is checking whether it has a suitable environment for the ixp team next it checks whether there are proper stakeholders in a team which means the customer inclusion of appropriate team members it also checks whether the organization will be able to support continuous improvement and values of an agile team the next practice is project community by community we mean a very large team because it consists of many members in the community we need to make sure that right people are involved this involvement is going to ensure success that is why picking up the right members in the team is a very important task community members are given roles explicitly and they need to abide those roles so the organization needs to keep a check whether they are performing their roles strictly and responsibly the organization has to encourage the presence and coordination of all the participants and develop a proper communication channel the project community may consist of 
technologists and customers as well as other stakeholders like the legal staff, quality auditors and manufacturing or sales type people. Next practice is project chartering. Project chartering means all the members of the IXP team will access the validity of the project. They will check whether what is the current need of the project in the market, is it needed or the project should be dropped. Also, the team will check the goals, objectives and scopes of the project, whether they will be helpful to the organization and project will be fruitful. Also, they will check whether the project that they are making will it replace the existing systems or no. It also believes in test driven management. In the test driven management, destinations are made which are a measurable criteria for accessing the state and progress of the project. These destinations or milestones are marked and highlighted and checked whether they are achieved or not. Retrospective is a practice where the programs that they made are out for review or exhibition. Specialized technical review are made where the software is being documented and shown to the authority. This in this review, there are examinations regarding the issues and whatever they are learning through the various increments or during the entire phase of the software. The main aim of the retrospectives is to improve the IXP process. The last and the most important practice is the continuous learning practice. The team is encouraged to learn new methods and new techniques so that the agile team can deliver a high quality product and a proper format. And also, they are also encouraged and given incentives to get new knowledge and be trained better. So we have seen extreme programming and its variant both of these are suffering from the debate that we have discussed earlier. The requirements are changing, there are conflicting customer needs and informally represented designs is an issue for both the models. That is all for today. Thank you.